Where's the most interesting place to go at night? You can say it's one of most popular Japanese culture. Oh, and I'm like, dude, this is not the place. <laughs> this is not the place. Let, uh -huh. Let's let's go. <laughs> let's go. Why are we still here? <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here, Why man. Are we still here right man? now. And I heard this sound. It's a little girl. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a little girl literally singing right beside my ear. Tonight, we're going to be ghost hunting. Yes. <laughs> This is Comedy Featuring. My name is Vic and welcome to the show. And this, like as you see, is a special edition. We are back again with this very special series. And joining us tonight, of course, Ton Klahata from Kun Put Mut Pahom. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ Hi. Good to be back. <laughs> oh, great to have you back, always. Yeah, yeah. always see, good to be you know, back. it's... It wouldn't be unusual for community to make content uh, like job hunting, mm -hmm. right? But tonight we're gonna be ghost hunting. Yes, yes, <laughs> and that's what we'll be talking about. So my obvious question mm -hmm. is usually like instinctively as a human when we hear the word ghost, we might want to try to avoid them, right? Yeah, yeah. But there, another group of people who. Like ran the opposite direction of fleeing, which is like toward the ghost. You can say it's one of most popular Japanese culture. Oh, yes, it's one of the things that um, many young adults they they often don't have anything to do at night, <laughs> so they gather around and uh, yeah, what are we gonna do today? Yeah. Um, well, there's no place to party because mm -hmm. it's the age is restricted. Okay, and so. Where's the most interesting place to go at night? At night, yeah. Let's go to some place where there's this haunting stories. Ooh. So they, they would love to spook themselves yes. for fun. Well, yeah, that's also one reason. Okay. And another reason is that um, in Japan, we have this strange, well, I wouldn't say strange, but um, for Thai's perspective, it's a little weird culture. That um, in Japan we have four seasons, right? Um, summer, spring, fall, winter. And so, if you have these four seasons, then um, all the activities in these four seasons are uh, all different. Okay. For example, um, during spring, well, we go to watch some fl uh, flower blossoms, for some sakura, and yeah. drinking sake and alcohol under the tree, yeah. celebrate. Mm. Uh, for fall, you go to the temple to see the red, like red leaves, like the red leaves uh. in the temple. Um, for winter, you go snowboard, ski, and for summer, you go to the beach. Right. But um, the weakest point of summer mm. is that nobody wants to go outside. Because it's too hot. It's right? too hot. And hot in Japan is like hot in Thailand. Scorching it's, hot. It's really hot. And so if it's hot, then we have to listen to the ghost stories or go somewhere spooky. <laughs> then we can have goosebumps. And <laughs> really, and goosebumps make you feel cold. Okay, so wow. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> like people... <laughs> Intentionally tell each other ghost story to make to give each other goosebumps. Yes. Then they feel like chill, the chill, the chill in the Whoa, spine. Oh wow! So this is like specifically for summer, right? Yes. Um, you you wouldn't want to do that like in winter. Well, that wouldn't feel as good. Depends on the people, but um, okay. if you see the trend or um, in any Japanese um, TV or televisions. Mm -hmm. All the shows, all the programs during the summer, there ah, are like ghost special. Ghost oriented. Ah. Um, yeah, ghost oriented during wow. the summers. A lot okay. More. Wow, this is very special. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it kind of makes sense mm -hmm. uh, why Japanese people would want to tell each other uh, spooky stories during summertime. So, um, and how about the ghost hunting thing? Also on summer. Okay. Yeah, because right. you go at night, well, it's not that hot 
mm-hmm. on the, during the night. And um, if you go to some house or some buildings, then you get chills, you get the mm-hmm. weird feelings. Yeah. And yeah, a lot of the stories, um, yeah, often comes from during the summertime. A lot of I ghost see. hunting. I was yeah. Saying. So have you been ghost hunting before? Yes. Yes. Really, you have. Yes. Growing in Japan. It's what Japanese do. students do. Yeah, yeah it's okay. really common. Uh-huh. And um, especially, I live in Osaka, and I also live in Fukuoka. And so, compare Osaka to Fukuoka. Osaka is really urban area. It's like a second biggest city compared to Tokyo. Well, it's subjective, but um, okay. yeah. Compare that, Fukuoka is really a rural area. A lot smaller, right? It's a lot more. Chill, like people spread a lot across the uh, the city, the city, okay. and um, so there's not much entertainment outside the city. Okay, compared to Osaka, where it's like everything is dense, it's com, it's compact. Yeah, and so um, that time I was in Fukuoka during mm. the night, and my friend. He started getting license since he's like sixteen, seventeen. Okay, a driving license, mm. and. At night, it's really, really, really dark. Like not even a street lamp. Wow. It's that rural. Okay. Uh-huh. And so what do we do? I want to hang out with you because during the day, um, he's up studying. And after he studies, he go on, have some part-time job. Mm-hmm. After part-time job is his free time. I see. And so it's the only time where... We super can, late into the night. Where we can hang out. And so mm. what do you want to do? And uh, he say, oh, I'm going to go pick you up. And so mm. he picks me up. Go to some, I think go to the, in front of convenience store. It's really rare also in the rural area, but um, it's like the only light (laughs) source. Uh And so we sit and hang out and it's really boring, right? (laughs) After you talk for a while, like um, have no point. After a couple of beers and and then it's done. You have nothing else to do. What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? And he's like, oh. There's this really cool place I want you to go. Mm-hmm. Come with me, mm. said. And so I. So he didn't say anything else. He didn't you say didn't anything ask? else. Yeah, I didn't like. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm a visitor here, so take me anywhere. Ah, okay. And so he took me um, around the mountains, and um, he said, like, "Oh, this mountain is really, um, it's really famous for uh, scary tunnels." Ah. Well, in Fukuoka, we have a lot of tunnels, right? Because um, the road is, uh, it's mountain Right, a lot of, lot yeah, of mountains. So, yeah. And there's this one really famous place. It's called Inunaki Tunnel. It's like um, dog bark tunnels. Because um, when the wind blows through the tunnels, you hear this sounds. Oh, okay. that's, that's where the names came from. It's like the howling of the dogs, yeah. right? Oh. And um, that place is one of the most haunted tunnels in Japan. Ooh, okay. And so we went around that and he, uh, he he's like, um, do you want to go to the tunnels? That, And so we went around there because I don't have a guts to go down <laughs> go and into the go into the tunnels because it's... Are people allowed to go to the tunnels? Technically, we are allowed to because it's it's a public road, right? Okay. And so, so they didn't close it off. They didn't close anything. it off. But um, for today, uh-huh. since like a lot of pop culture and movies about that tunnels is really viral, ah. so they have to close shut shut down the tunnels. I see. Okay. <laughs> but um, during the time when I went there, it's really really scary because um, there's nothing, no lights, just street, and this old tunnels with a lot of graffiti and um, mm. some really weird noise, weird wind coming yeah. out of the tunnels. Uh-huh. And I'm like, dude, this is not the place. <laughs> this is not the place. Let, uh-huh. let's, let's go. <laughs> let's go. And so Even it, though for someone who kind of like this kind of thing, like yourself, yeah, I didn't still ex- feel too <laughs> spooked by this place. Yeah. I didn't expect him to take me to that Okay. Scary place, right? <laughs> and so, so how old were you back then? I'm not sure, like 14, 15 or something. Okay, but I suppose you were already into the ghost stories. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, and I, did your friends know that about you? Um, Was that why he brought you there? <laughs> well, he didn't know anything okay. that I'm interested in ghost stories or that. <laughs> and on the road, he starts like 
saying stuff like, <laughs> you know, um, this place is really haunted. I have this one really scary stories, and he starts telling the stories inside Whoa. the vehicles. Okay, and that story is um. Well, it's related to me because I went to Fukuoka to study there during the summertime when I was young, and so we we know each other for a really long time. And there's this one friend. He he also played with me when I was little, and um, I live in Thai. So in Japan, we have Yu Gi Oh, Kan Yu Gi, Yu Gi Oh. It's really famous back then. Yeah. And so I bought a Thai Yu Gi Oh. Which the attack, the defense is like infinite number. Uh, okay. I don't know if you remember that, but um, yeah, the card is insane, <laughs> and so it's a fake card, obviously. <laughs> so I went there, and mm. then that friend, he he said, "Oh my God, this is so great! I will win every match." And so he <laughs> he stole everything from me. Oh okay. Well, I well I didn't blame him for that, but um, it, he stole everything, and so after that, I lost contact with him for a long time until. My friend, who is the driver, told me that um, he passed away, oh. like a few years ago during the car accident because he, well, grow up and driving without license and crash into a truck and oh, that's mm. that's terrible. Mm. And this story is, is told in the car, on it well really close to that scary tunnel. Oh man! <laughs> and so my I think my horror is at the peak. <laughs> Yeah, my meter is uh, really, really close to yeah. like, oh my god, oh. and so I said, well, man, let's hang out somewhere else. <laughs> Let let's just go back, and so he drives me down the mountain, and there's this one, one public bathroom, I think public bathroom. It's really bright, like the lights all turn on, and there's no car, literally no car, no no car driving past. No yeah. one is passing by, yeah. and so we stop there. I see the picture in my head right now. Yeah. It's like very, very scary. Very scary. <sighs> and so um, I went inside. Uh-huh. I I peed in there. <laughs> I finished my stuff, washed my face, and then I came out. And he's like, "Oh, you're done. Well, I'm gonna go in." Uh-huh. And so he he goes inside. I'm waiting for him outside. Well, at the time. I was a white run, white run, when so um, I, I was still underage, but I smoked cigarette. Okay. So I lit up cigarette and then wait, wait for him outside and say, "Oh, he he took so long." Mm. And so he came out, and he's like, "Hey, did anyone come inside?" I'm like, "No, I'm outside. See, I, I'm just standing here smoking. Uh-huh. What are you talking about?" And he's like, "Well, this this is." A men's toilet, right? When I went inside, I saw this lady standing in front of the sink, washing her hands, and so, well, I didn't care at first. It's just like, oh, oh, maybe someone is just inside. But then, when he went inside the toilet, closed the door, and start taking off his pants and sit down, he th- realized that oh, it's a men's toilet. Uh-huh. And if someone is in there, then I would say something first, right? Sure. Before he goes in, mm. this is weird. He's like, uh-huh. this is weird. Who's that girl? And so- someone knocks on his door. Kong, 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 kong. He didn't answer. He's like, oh, maybe I scared him. But um, he went. He looked down under the. Like the there's door. a gap under there's, the door, right? There's this little gap. Okay. And he saw this barefoot. I think it's. He said he thinks it's a girl's foot, definitely, because it's white, it's small, and has some nail painting on her fingernails. Oh, okay, that stood there in front of his bathroom, and so he's like, oh, "Okay." He opens the door, and no one is there. No one is inside the bathroom. So he came out, and then, do you see anyone? Did anyone came out from the toilet? After he told all that stories, I was like, "Then, what? Why are we still here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's get out of here, why man! Are we still here right, right now." And so he's like, look, he looks around. He's like, "Oh my god!" He just realized what he saw, and so he hops in the the, the car and then starts to drive off. Oh god! That's the first time ever wow. for the 
ghost hunt. Uh-huh. But um, luckily, I didn't saw anything except <sighs> from what my friend told me. I don't know if he tries to scare me or something, but um, uh-huh. well, that's, but did it look like he tried to scare you and he no. like faking it out? No, no. Okay, his face is pale as. Wow, as you as anyone's face could be pale. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! That- But it couldn't be a person, otherwise you would have seen yeah. someone going in, right? Because would, you like stood would, yeah. guard, like in the front of the toilet, right? Yeah, and also I was in there washing my hand, washing my face. Yeah, yeah. And then in the public toilet, the the mirror is a huge mirror. You like, would have seen if someone yeah coming in. And no one is there. Like, there's no way to go outside the toilet except the entrance. Wow! And so, that's the first time ever, and I was really, really scared. But um, Come after on. that, back to Osaka, mm-hmm. I started hanging out with a group of her friends, and well, it's quite international group this time. Mm. And there's this Japanese guy and um, a guy from America, and from Australia. Mm. Australia is very multicultural. Group, mm-hmm. <laughs> include me. I'm Thai, so yeah, <laughs> many, many like nations. Yeah, <laughs> and so four of us just starts like, hey, what what do you want to do tonight? Uh-huh. And people are just like, oh, let's just go and take a ride. Uh-huh. And so this the driver he just took us for a drive, mm-hmm. and we went. I think it's behind our high school. There, there's this famous mountain. We go and circle around, and um, suddenly he's like, "Oh, you know that there's this place where it's really famous for ghost stories, which is which took place in the mountain." I'm like, "Again, not again, <laughs> again, really, really, you guys." It's uh-huh. like, "Oh, let's go, man, let's go, dude. No, yeah. don't be a, don't be a, p." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm like, "Okay, okay, okay, whatever, just mm. go." And so we went there. During the inside the car, like my friend told told me the stories about the place where we're going, mm-hmm. is there's this house and um, a family lives inside there, and I think it's a fire accident. Okay. And so it burned down all the house, and there's nothing there anymore. Mm-hmm. And when we arrive, literally nothing there. Like it's just a plain like grass, empty land. like empty land. Mm. And so I started walking. My friends started going around, seeing stuff. And suddenly, the floor, the feeling of my feet changed, like from walking on the grass to like walking on something. And so I looked down. It's like someone's living room, okay. like the floor. It's like wooden and black and brown and uh, oh, oh my god. Okay. It's. It used to be a house in there. Like, yeah. why don't they take out everything, mm. right? Why is just it's just a floor? So you're inside the house now. Yeah, I'm inside the house, but like, okay. oh my god! And I heard this sound. It's a little girl. Oh my god! Oh god. <laughs> it's a little girl, <gasps> literally singing right beside my ear. This one song from Ghibli. It's dun dun da da dun 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 da da dun. God, that sound lit like I heard it very, very clear, and I'm like, oh my god, it's not it because we we it's just four of us. I saw my friends scattered around. Okay, and the sound like comes from I think couldn't my, be any of them. Couldn't be any of them. Just singing here, and so I turn. And what I saw is that um, it's not like right close to me, but um, a few feet away, there's this one giant tree, because it's a mountain, it's forest, right? This one giant tree. I saw a girl's foot hanging from the tree, like sitting there, a mini skirt, a uh, skinny leg. And, and you just saw that, like the bottom part. You didn't the see the bottom part, face, right? Luckily, because there's this tree bench. Okay. Covers blocking the top, blocking the, the upper part. The upper part. Oh god. And that songs just keep running through my head, and I'm like, Hey man, let's go back. It's not. It's not okay here. And my friend's like, Are you okay, dude? You you look so pale. So what apparently happened? they didn't hear what you heard. No one heard it, except my other friends. Said oh. like. Oh yeah, I was, 
I was thinking that um, maybe you sang a song or something, oh, but like you're humming the song. Like I'm humming, but no, 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 man, definitely not me. And so we freaked out, and then we went inside, drives down the mountain, and to I think a convenience store or something, and I just puke and puke and oh god, that's the worst time I've ever. Tell us again what you saw again, like mm-hmm. the bottom part of. A girl's body, like sitting, sitting on in, a tree, bench. on the tree, yeah, and they're just hanging her legs there, yeah, and singing, singing. Oh God! Well, I I tell this to to a lot of, well, to to my friends, and they all like believe me because why would I lie? Like yeah. my face is pale. I look panicked. I'm uh-huh. sweating so much, uh-huh. but um, and. I I'm sweating so much, but I don't feel hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm scared uh-huh. to the inside, and okay. um, my friends are like, "Oh, okay, okay. Yo, let's just take you back home." Uh-huh. So I went home that night. After that, this story spread in my high school, uh-huh. and I don't know how long, but um, even some juniors uh-huh. start telling these stories that there's okay. this one senpai, one. Oh, you started like yeah. <laughs> the legend. Yeah, I started <laughs> these stories in wow. in the, in, the uh-huh. in my high school, but Ooh. um, I was lucky that um, uh-huh. I, the, the the thing I saw is just a girl. Well, I wouldn't uh-huh. say lucky, but uh-huh. um, <laughs> the 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 ghost I saw is just uh-huh. a, a little girl sitting on a tree bench, but um. Uh-huh. Come to think about it, like the stories kind of transform, right? Mm. Transform mm. after you repeat a lot to this person, to the next yeah. person uh-huh. repeats a lot, and um, it kept changing it, into it, something different and it cha- bigger. It probably. changes, really. It changes okay. from a girl sitting on a tree bench <laughs> to a girl hanging from the tree. <laughs> Something like that. And, yeah. Uh, as It's like, was it the same ghost that yeah. I saw because it changed a lot? And from the mountain to somewhere a lot more closer to the school Ooh, or something. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. It it changes. Yeah. Uh-huh. And hearing that after a few years, I'm like, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> yeah, my just... stories came so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This this thing happens, right? Yeah. People. Yeah. Keep telling stories that they changed. Yes. Yeah. And so um, from this, from this, two experience mm. came to the conclusion that, well, after, after that, I don't really want to go to the place where it's not mine, mm. obviously. And after listen to a lot of ghost stories, then I wouldn't be happy mm. if I'm the house owner and someone just step. Inside my house without permissions, right, right. Um, we are mad, of course. The spirits also mm-hmm. used to be a human. They are also yeah, they wouldn't be happy. About they they wouldn't either. be happy. Mm-hmm. And so, um, if it's possible, then I would be like, oh, I, I'll be in a car, <laughs> <laughs> or like, oh, I'll wait. I'll wait for you guys here in the uh, uh-huh. convenience store. You, yeah. you go, you go ahead. Yeah, because I think I experienced the most chill time during the summer. Right. Wow. Yeah. But for both incidents, you didn't ask for the ghost, right? You yes. didn't intentionally go and seek for the ghost. Yes. But it just happened. It happens. Yeah. And, and yet, and not like a lot of people would do the opposite. Like they seek for a ghost. They want to see ghosts, so they go where they think ghosts are, yeah. and then just just ghost hunt like that. Yes. Yes. Wow. Looking back, it's it's mm. not a good thing to do because mm. um, before witnessing these two incidents, uh, me and my friends also hang out at nights a lot, and we went to some other places, Ooh. but nothing happened. Okay, but we did something that's not acceptable, <laughs> like breaking windows. And, uh, um, okay, yeah, it's, I see. It's what. Teenage, <laughs> well, we teenage, wouldn't recommend it. We wouldn't recommend, okay. but um, teenage but, stuff. Yeah, that's what happened. That's yeah. what you guys did. And looking back, it's well, that's mm. not that. That's not me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even though it's like the empty house or like deserted house mm-hmm. where no people live living in, you 
it is still the act of trespassing, right? Yes. Yeah. So going to the place that you don't own and you do not have a permit for. So yeah. Besides, maybe you potentially breaking the law mm-hmm. and maybe like angering some ghosts. Yeah. Also, yeah. Just go to um, haunted houses. Right? Yeah. Haunted house <laughs> newly opened in Pattaya or some some place. Right. right. Because just I've, buy a ticket. And, I've heard about that. Yeah. Like um, like haunted house, but also some place that is not a haunted house in the sense of like amusement park. Or mm. some uh, business place, right? Where we yet yeah, buy tickets and they go in and be spooked from the ghost that we know is a uh, staff, yeah. right? But there are a lot of like spooked place or spooky place uh, where there's like a real thing happening, like bad things, mm. people like uh, got burned from the fire or slaves mm. got tormented and die from. Like uh, mistreatment and stuff mm. like that, and then they kind of haunted the place, and uh, that place stay on for like centuries, yes. and ending up being owned by some people who would want to invest in that place and turn it into business. Mm. You have heard about that, right? Yeah. Like uh, haunted tourism. That's a real thing in the U.S., mm. and I'm sure um, there's some in even Thailand. And many countries too. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can think of one place which is my place. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah. There's the ghost stories in my house. Mm. Many channels. I I think I tell these stories many many times, and um, <laughs> it goes viral. And please don't come to my house. <laughs> I, it's I still not, live there. It's not an attraction. It's not an attraction. Just don't, do not go yeah, visit. Just, just don't come and visit. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that most ghosts would know that? There are people like um, trespassing into their property because, of course, we heard about some ghosts like living in different dimension. They maybe they had no idea mm-hmm. that there's a trespassing from human. What What do you think? I think it's this belief. It's related with um, huang. I would say worries oh, about okay. ghosts. Yeah. Um, the reason the ghost still stays in our world. And not going to heaven or hell or wherever the place, but um, the reason the ghost still st- is still sa- staying is because of worries. It's mm. what sh- it's what Buddhism believes, right? Right. Pi huang, yang pai nai Because right. there's is still worries. Worries about what will happen to my family, what will happen to the dog I care, mm. to the lovers I care, including mm. to the property I own. Yeah. And or so, maybe revenge is. Stuff like that, like something they, like they've that. been wronged and they died, and so they they still cling on to the living. Mm. And I think house is also the same mm. because um, they still still cling on to the place where they live before mm. for many 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 years. Yeah. And um, huang, kai kai ko huang. Right, right. <laughs> and also there's uh, this business like um, haunted tourism. Besides, like you can buy like. Admission tickets mm-hmm. and spend a night there, like Airbnb mm-hmm. for someone who want to be haunted. There are a lot of those things too in the U.S. and also in, in many countries. Yeah, it became a really good business. Too, yeah. By the way, um, I heard about this um, this nightclub or something. It's really famous that um, people start seeing weird things when they bought. This nightclub and they go to the underground. It's actually ah. a scary place underground, uh, un- like under the dungeon, nightclub, the dungeon, <laughs> basement. Yeah. basement, and a mm. lot of crazy things happen. Mm. But it became an attraction for people to right. go and drink there and hey, can I have a look? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and hey, yeah, go ahead. True, so, I've even come across like um, seven places. The most like the most haunted. Uh, places you could find on Airbnb, mm. and then you can just go and experience some of the um, the ghosts. And there's this like advertisement for each places. This one I like. They said the host says she's seen plenty over the years. 
meaning ghosts. But promises they all be friendly. <laughs> it's like, hey, we have ghosts. Come check it out and be scared. But they wouldn't hurt you because they're friendly. <laughs> it's like, okay, what kind of business is this? <laughs> have you have they made deal with ghosts? And okay, let's do this together. And maybe I'll cut you a deal or something. Yeah, it it could happen because. Mm-hmm. Well, in Thai beliefs, we yeah we believe that ghosts are also like you well used to be a human, right? Mm. They, we can negotiate, we can use them. Yeah. Even in a s a y a s a t s a t m u d something. Yeah. Like making this spirit spiritual objects mm. where you control the ghosts ah. or something, or maybe yeah. it's just. Just a favor, like you ask. Yeah, collaboration <laughs> between yeah, the call- living yeah. and the dead. Yeah, for you, business. You, you scare the guest for me, and then yeah, I will <laughs> repay <laughs> you <laughs> <in> somehow. c r u n g e n lulu, s a k n u n g m u Maybe I don't know. Maybe it worked that way. <laughs> yeah, maybe because we don't know how far this thing can go. So maybe yeah. yeah, people have come so far that they can actually make deal with like the dead. And yes, yeah, let's yeah. do this. Yeah. Yeah, but um, there's this one one scary theory. Have you? I I don't know. Have you ever heard of this word? We we say that this place actually nothing happens inside this place. Mm. But if you believe that there's something happens, uh. then it calls for that. Oh, okay. So you mean it would attract a real ghost? Yeah. If there's enough like belief. If there's enough beliefs, oh. for example, Hanako Sang that I mentioned in the last episode, mm. um, people start seeing Hanako Sang every in every elementary school, every high mm. school. Yeah. That this rumor spread really wild. Mm. Uh, Kuchisake or another girl with a mask. Right. People spotted all over Japan. Uh-huh. Maybe it's like if you actually believe, is a lot of people believe it's mm. actually create something mm-hmm. new. Yeah. So, what do you think we have learned from this kind of uh, ghost hunting stories? First thing first, that um, by comparing the four seasons in Japan mm. and comparing one seasons in Thailand, <laughs> season <laughs> <laughs> we only have one, or for like hot, very hot, yeah. extra hot, and yeah. GD hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. yeah. I think Thai people like ghost stories. b e s one of the reason is. Actually, the same reason in Japan, mm. Mm. because it's hot. We want to get chill. We yeah. want to get spooky. We uh-huh. want to get a little bit like goosebumps. And goosebumps. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's in, inside mm. there, and we didn't realize that. Um, yeah. Mm. But um, in Japan, it's actually what people are like. Okay, we listen to ghost stories. We go to scary stories because yeah. this. So we wouldn't feel. So hot during so, the summer night. It right? might be simple as that, but yeah. um, the biggest thing I learned is that um, from growing up, I think I grew up pretty well mm-hmm. <laughs> to become a man I am today. Mm. But um, by becoming a man I was today is obviously I've been through a lot during the teenagers mm. by experiencing or. Doing things that I regret, mm-hmm. going to haunted, scary place, mm-hmm. or destroying properties, yeah. and I think there are a lot of people now today are still doing that mm. for whatever the reasons yeah. or might to get you yeah, for, the be, for the thrill for the thrill. And um, mm. I've heard a lot of stories that um, people tend to not really end up. Mm. Well, all the time, yeah. might be haunted by a ghost, and most scary things is like. Mm. Might be haunted by actual person. Mm. Yeah, which is which could be a lot scarier. A lot scarier yeah, could because could cost you life. Actually, yeah, because a place where it's like a house mm. where it's empty. Mm. Obviously, people is just gonna want to live there. People yeah. without place to go. It's a r a n g j o n no? Sometimes. Yeah, r a n g j o n You go there, and then I heard these stories from my friend that um, he went there inside there, and he sees. All this weird guy with a suit starts exchanging things. Ah, oh. if what happened if they spot you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah you'll they, become a ghost yourself. Yeah, soon it, enough, right? It's yeah. like risking yourself to uh. to the place where you're not supposed mm. to by ri- by risking. It's like in real life, also in spiritual life, mm-hmm. both ways. Yeah, 
Let's just go to the attraction instead. Yeah, we we cannot stop you from doing whatever you want to do, yes. including uh, risking your life or your safety, yours, yours, and your loved ones mm-hmm. who came along. But this could potentially happen. Like you could be hurt by human and the dead. Who knows, right? Yes. Yeah. So just be careful out there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, it's just. One this one part of the story is is it's a life lesson. I would say mm-hmm. one of the life lesson about mm-hmm. going to the unknown place because we human of often want to discover what we yeah. never heard of, right. want to prove mm-hmm. something. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I hope we give you enough chill <laughs> for tonight, especially if it's hot. Um, maybe you don't need to turn an AC on, but. Maybe it's a good idea if you want like some sort of thrill or chill. It's it's g o i n g to be better to turn the AC on <laughs> than risking your life and going to uh, the place you should be going into, right? Yeah. Okay. Or if you if you can't resist it, then go with respect. <laughs> ah, a little okay. li- research first. Yep. Like um, go in there during the day mm-hmm. and see if like nobody weirds and not. Actual, not mm-hmm. anyone's actual property. Yeah, just mm-hmm. make sure first. Yeah, then go with respect. Don't mm-hmm. destroy the stuff. Keep mm-hmm. everything, every trash clean. Yeah, do the search because I have done some research and there's some ghost tour mm-hmm. in Bangkok or in Thailand, and that would include drinks and dinner even. Mm. And then there's a guide. Who would take you and walk around like it's a walk tour and tell you stories? And he would definitely spook you if that's what you want. But this is all gonna be done like in a very safe environment. Yes. So maybe that's a better choice for you. For those of you who do not know that there's this kind of service and business, you might wanna try it out. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And 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 share whatever you experience. In the comment section. Yeah, right. I would want to know because I I think not only me and or maybe v i v i k also mm. happen to have this experience where you go in Japan we call kimo damishi. It's like kimo damishi. Kimo damishi is like test your guts. Oh yeah, t o s o k a m g a t o s o k a m g a Test your guts. Test your guts. Yeah. All right. Okay. And uh, whatever kind of ghost stories or paranormal uh, stories that you would want to hear from t o n g l a of course, he'll be back for the next episode. We can guarantee that you'll be scared once again, and mostly uh, the Japan stories and maybe some other maybe some other place places. Yeah. If you're if you want to hear us talk about uh, any other. Topics, yeah. then mm-hmm. recommend yeah. in the comment section, yes. so we know which do you like. รายการใหม่เอี่ยมที่เคนดีสตูดิโอมีชื่อว่าเก่งอังกฤษกับคำนี้ดีกับพี่บิ๊กและพี่ฟ้าค่ะสำหรับคนที่อยากจะได้ English Learning Mindset หรือว่าเทคนิคดีๆในการพัฒนาภาษาอังกฤษของคุณให้เก่งขึ้นเรื่อยๆต้องติดตามเลยครับทำไมเราฟังออกทุกอย่างแต่พูดไม่ได้สักทีและในทางตรงกันข้ามครับทำไม native speaker of English language ถึงไม่เข้าใจภาษาอังกฤษของเราสักที How fast can we be good at English จะเก่งภาษาอังกฤษเนี่ยมันเร็วได้ขนาดนั้นเลยเหรอเรื่องอะไรเหล่านี้แหละที่เราจะมาพูดคุยกันในรายการจะหาคําตอบให้กับคุณมาดิสคัสกับคุณนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นก็ติดตามกันได้ที่ KND Studio ทาง YouTube แล้วก็ทางทุกช่องทางทุกแพลตฟอร์มแล้วก็พอดแคสต์แอปพลิเคชันที่คุณใช้ประจำด้วยนะครับลูกค้าเปลี่ยนเร็วมากเลยทำไงถึงจะชนะคู่แข่งได้ธุรกิจทำสัตเซนยังไงให้มันเวิร์กจริงๆใช้ AI ยังไงให้ได้ประโยชน์มากที่สุดเราจะทำให้เรื่องราวของธุรกิจนั้นสนุกเข้าใจง่ายและเอาไปใช้ประโยชน์ได้จริงๆเดอะเซกเซอร์ซัมมิต2024ปีนี้ต่างจากปีที่ผ่านมาครับ CEO รุ่นใหญ่ๆเก๋าๆประสบการณ์เยอะๆเรายังเชิญเข้ามาอยู่ครับแต่ว่าเราจะเชิญตัวแทนของคนรุ่นใหม่ๆมาด้วยและเรายังมีเอ็กซ์เพรสในมุมอื่นๆไม่ว่าจะเป็นเรื่องของไบโอเทคนิวโรไซเรื่องของ TikTok เรื่องของ AI s u s t a i n ทั้งหมดนี้จะทำให้คุณนั้นเป็นนักธุรกิจที่ชนะได้ในคลื่นใหม่ครับเจอกันวันที่ 5-6 กันยายนนี้ที่พารากอนหอสยามพารากอนซื้อบัตรได้แล้ววันนี้นะครับที่ซิตี้เวนครับ